It's you. Thankfully, the version we're fighting isn't the one with the super windy tunnels and things like that. That was already hell to go through once. I'm glad we don't have to do that version again. But the fact that we had to fight the stupid Empress Bulblox three times during this stupid game? Why? Ah. That annoyed me so much. But thankfully, this fight isn't actually all that bad. I say that as we lose to Corporal Pikmin. But the best strategy I recommend for this fight immediately break down the wall as soon as you can, and then go after the Emperor's Ball Blacks. Because the added gimmick this time around is that as the Emperor's Ball Blacks crash against the walls, boulders are going to be falling down. I do not like when boulders fall down. Boulders falling down hurt my head, and I like my head. <laughs> so, yeah. Have the Pikmin hide it near the dungeon exit floor hole thingy and then and they should be okay in there theoretically then just for instance repeat and you should be okay every time the impressible black crashes into the wall it's gonna cause the rocks to fall down so definitely keep that in mind that it's gonna be at least two cycles sometimes it might be three i don't know i remember reading somewhere that uh, sometimes that she'll crash into the wall three times or something like that before being able to be attacked again. I've never seen that before though, so it might just be misinformation. In which case, yay! I love spreading in misinformation. Did you know that the Disney the did you know that the Cinderella Castle could be taken apart during hurricanes? games? <laughs> I love urban myths like that in the Disney parks because every now and then you'll have a guest who will ask me if it's true and things like that. Um and it's always a it's always a fun interaction. And we did it. We destroyed the evil, ugly, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Emperor the Empress Bulblack is just an ugly character. Favorite gyro block. It's blue, so it's definitely the favorite. I like blue. Blue, blue, green, green. Oops, that's not right. I'm still new at this. We get kind of a rest floor, but there is a treasure here, so that's fun. So somewhere around here, there's going to be one of those uh, uh, interesting beetles. Um, whenever you track that down, you're going to want to fight them and things like that. I don't know if this is the same situation as the submerged uh, castle, or whatever that was earlier in the let's play with the water wreath and things like that. Um, I don't know if it's the same case where sometimes the iridescent glint beetle won't spawn and that can make the treasure not appear. If that's the case though, if you're on this floor and you start off with it saying that it's not spawning, reset the game. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Lost to gyro block. There's a geyser here if you need it to go get some more Pikmin and things like that, but honestly we should be in we should be fine. I already know we're be fine because it's Pokemon's commentary, so I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I remember back in the earlier days of the channel, one thing that I would do was that if I was doing post commentary for a video, I would try to make it out as if I was still doing live commentary and I'd honestly fake a couple of my reactions and things like that. Which don't do that. That's not good commentary.
Nectar! It's yummy and good for you! If there's any food companies out there who wants to sponsor me, I have a great tagline for you. It's yummy and good for you! Sub level 13. We need to have a talk. So, I mentioned earlier that the the one of the floors earlier with the that the floor of the Emperor of All Blacks was what I consider the second most difficult one in the dungeon. This is number one. So, the arena. You may recognize it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We're be fighting the mental leagues again. Why? I don't know. Why did we have to fight the first time? Why did they allow this monstrosity into the pureness as my Pikmin 2 experience? <sighs> Not good at all. I don't like this area. So, this definitely took the most floor resets of the entire dungeon. What I recommend you do, I recommend you have a large squad of blue Pikmin. So on the previous floor, it's a good idea to throw your pick to throw the boatman if you have any remaining into the blue candy cup bot, but um, that'll be your best option if you're able to do that. But get into the cycle of keeping your Pikmin behind a wall. Know the pattern for how often the mana lake is gonna be firing at you. And keep the other Pikmin away from the area because honestly, you're gonna be struggling if you try to bring any non-blue Pikmin here. Uh, they're gonna be in the water, the metal legs will not be leaving this area too often. When it shakes them off, immediately gather a Pikmin back and try to get back into the area behind the wall. You might lose a few Pikmin, but you should be okay. You should be okay if you're moving quick enough. Having a lot of the ultra spicy sprays with you, it's definitely gonna be helping with this fight. But get into the pattern of recognizing how much time you have before it starts firing at you again, and then just try to get behind a wall. We lost a few Pikmin right there, but we didn't lose too many, so we should be okay. It's already halfway down. Just keep this pattern going, and you should be okay. If you are having trouble with this, some advi the advice that I said a couple of videos ago also applies here as well. It is perfectly okay. To do another run of the dungeon, take the treasures that you already have, move on, do what you can do in the next couple floors, and come back with another squad. Honestly, the best strategy for this is to do that exactly that. Do the regular, do the rest of the dungeon normally, and then come back with a full squad of blue Pikmin if you want to go for, if you want to take the thing down quickly. It's going to save you a lot of headaches if you are, especially if you are low on blues when you get to this point. Just move on to the next floor and come back with a lot more blues. As long as you have at least five blue Pikmin or Bulbin, you can carry the treasure and you'll be okay. What else say? I'm just very happy that the Water Wraith is the thing that appears again in the Hall of Heroes because. All these boss rematches, especially on a first playthrough, they're already stressful enough, especially when you're dealing with crap like the Mental Eggs again. I'm just glad that the Water Wraith isn't a thing that appears again. It would be as terrifying as before, granted, because we already had the purple Pikmin right off the start, but still. I remember when I was doing the gameplay for this, I was terrified that we are going to lose that red Pikmin because I pressed the A button too far away from the hole. Sub level 14. <laughs> now, this floor, we got a bunch of dweevils all over the place. That the best thing that I could recommend you do, if you have any yellow Pikmin remaining, use those first. Honestly, the other Pikmin are going to be a lot useful in this floor in general, so the yellow Pikmin are going to be your best advantage in this place. But. Use the yellow Pikmin and any Bulbman you have remaining and take out the electrical Dweevils. The other ones, 
if their elemental attack goes off, you at least have time to uh, whistle your Pikmin to get back into your squad. The electric Dweevils, however, they're something like that. If they if their attack goes off, your Pikmin immediately die, and that's stupid. So definitely be careful with that, and also don't drown your yellow Pikmin because that's also bad too. But yeah, take out the yellow Dweevils first if you can, and be careful because there's going to be something else in this area that will not be pleasant if you're not prepared. Be prepared. We got the Dweevil taken care of, and now let's move onwards. I'm back, fools! I legit jumped out of my chair when I saw this. I wasn't expecting this guy to appear again. But we will be facing this guy again. I am looking into my memory banks to remember what this guy is called. Because I have perfect memory. I don't need the help of using my smart device to figure out what this guy's name is. This guy's name is BD Longlegs. Yeah, I remembered everything about this game. Okay, I looked it up. Stop judging me, okay? But yeah, using the yellow Pikmin on this guy, definitely gonna be the best uh, advice I could recommend because that's what we did before. But take out the yellow D take out the yellow Dweevils before you do anything else, so you don't have to worry too much about electrical hazards. Honestly, this area's not that bad. As long as you have like a good squad of at least 20 yellows or something like that, even 15, you probably should still be able to do it anyway. Um, but keep your distance, wait for the BD long legs to crop down like that, and then go in for the attack. I still love the way that it looks when it dies, it just looks so cool. I'm gonna look that cool when I die. <laughs> My sister always said that when she dies, that she wants to die in a roller coaster accident so that she can go off of the, um, in a super epic way. <laughs> I think about that every now and then because I think she thought that because she would play Roller Coaster Tycoon a lot, and her favorite thing to do in that game was cause roller coaster crashes. <laughs> she also said she wanted to grow up to be a crash test dummy. That was a. Uh, she was definitely an interesting person. I freaked out so much when I saw that. When I saw that they all jumped into a puddle because I was terrified that they were going to die in the cutscene. 